You've probably never seen one of these before. It's called a WarmBot. This is a prototype robot designed for subsurface exploration of the lunar surface. And now it has the blessing of the NASA Exploration Systems Mission Directorate, which is really a pretty big deal. Dr. Christina Garman, UA Huntsville lecturer in mechanical engineering, is working with a team of students on the project. And they are the first UAH team to win the systems engineering competition. So the Lunar Wormbot was interesting because um, it incorporated the opportunity to work with NASA engineers and uh, just the hardware itself was complex and was really intriguing to work on. Dr. Carmen says the idea for the robot project originated with Dr. Jessica Gaskin at the National Space Science and Technology Center, located just across the street from the UA Huntsville campus. The NSSTC is the actual customer for the robot. NASA wanted a device that would sample and study moon soil. That's what makes this worm bot, a burrowing device, so interesting. The robot is designed to drill into the lunar surface and extract samples that can be returned to Earth. The competition is serious business. UA Huntsville beat out schools like MIT, Virginia Tech, and Georgia Tech had won the competition two previous years. Dr. Carmen says UA Huntsville has brilliant students on campus and that opportunities like this project don't come along for just anyone. I just think it's really important for our university to pursue these opportunities because as this previous team has shown, you know, when you do pursue them, you can actually succeed. So it's, um, you know, a lot of times people think that the, um, the other universities, they attract the top-notch students, and maybe they do, but I hear at UAH we have those top-notch students, and the fact is when you give them the opportunities, they can meet those challenges. Just ask Mallory Brown. She's just now getting on board with the project. Uh, yes, I was really excited to be put on this project. Um, I didn't know much about it before getting into this class, but um, I can't wait to the next two semesters to be working on it. Josh Johnson says it paid off in two ways for him. It was a great project to be a part of, and participating in the UA Huntsville class project opened some professional doors for him as well. I mean, it's given me so many opportunities uh, to excel uh, not just in the classroom, but outside of the classroom. I've gotten to the, the wonderful chance of networking and meeting, meeting all kinds of new people that I would have never had the opportunity to meet any other way. UA Huntsville has the reputation of being a world-class institution. There are hundreds of faculty with advanced degrees, but it's also a university that puts students in the middle of that research and gives them an opportunity of a lifetime. Dr. Carmen stresses that projects like this at UA Huntsville are only possible with help from the Alabama Space Grant Consortium, the UAH Office of the Vice President of Research, the Dean of the College of Engineering, and the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department. Reporting from the University of Alabama in Huntsville, I'm Tim Hall.